Hello, welcome to the channel. It's your favourite Scotsman here again. And today we are going to be looking at four important, but unfortunately uncomfortable truths about retirement that nobody talks about. The first one is, you aren't as special as you thought you were. The financial side of retirement is just half the battle. The rest is a mental adjustment, particularly for career-focused type A people. I recently read an article by Rob Carrick in the Globe and Mail that referenced a post by retirement blogger Fritz Gilbert. Gilbert spoke of a conversation he had with a professional basketball player who was a star forced into retirement. His team found a replacement and basketball continued on without him. That's the same reality that most of us face when we retire. At work, we're respected team members and leaders with expertise built over our careers. In retirement, we have to redefine ourselves and our worth. It's this adjustment that can lead to feelings of depression for 28% or almost a third of all retirees. That's a shockingly high number and far too little is said about the problem. We'll provide a link to the article in the show notes, but some suggestions that stood out for avoiding or dealing with depression in retirement include easing into this new stage of life, sticking to a schedule, staying connected with friends and colleagues, and giving back to the community, if that makes you happy, of course. Retirement is as much about planning for if you will have enough money as it is about what will you do with your time which moves us nicely into the second uncomfortable truth that nobody tells you about. If you're 60 years old right now, there's a good chance that you will have less than a thousand weeks of healthy active time left of this thing that we call life. If you're over 60, then you've even less time. Think about that for a second. As the weeks fly by in the blink of an eye, your window for healthy active time keeps on closing. You should plan for the non-financial elements of your retirement and your final few years of work so that you can ensure that you have a retirement of meaning, intention and purpose. Are you going to spend your retirement on the couch watching mind-numbing television or watching a Scotsman on YouTube? <laughs> There's probably a good chance this will lead to unhappiness and depression as we've just covered. Or are you going to look for fulfillment and purpose in your retirement? What is it that truly makes you happy? And how can you go about doing more of those things that truly make you happy? You want to make the absolute most of your time left as a healthy and active person and not end up with regrets about the choices you made. Whether it's volunteering, learning a new language, taking up a new sport, exploring your spirituality, or just spending quality time with the family. Make sure you know how you will spend your time and who you will spend it with. The third thing that nobody tells you about retirement is that it can be tough on couples. You've all seen the cringy commercials of couples strolling down the beach, holding hands and laughing without a care in the world. I hope my wife isn't watching, but in reality, it's not quite like that. Retirement can be a test for any relationship. Chances are, with one or both spouses having busy work schedules and kids to take care of, you've gotten quite used to spending time away from your significant other. Then bang, retirement hits and you're suddenly with your spouse 24-7, doing each other's heads in. It's no surprise that divorce rates are declining, except for those over the age of 50. In most cases, unless, of course, you really just don't like each other anymore, divorce isn't ideal. So spend some time prior to retirement to talk about how you will spend your time together, how much space you will give each other, and what activities you will do in your own. I love my other half, and spending time with her is an absolute treat. But I also need a bit of time for myself every now and then. It's natural for most relationships. Just a quick break here, if you're enjoying the video so far and want to see more content from us, please do consider subscribing to the channel. I try to get out at least one video a week, all with a retirement focus. Okay, back to the video. The fourth and final truth about retirement that nobody tells you about is a money one. 
you may end up spending more than you anticipated, especially in those early years when you're no longer tied down by employment. We've already discussed the importance of how you will spend your time, and while it's absolutely crucial to ensure that you create a retirement of meaning, intention and purpose, make sure you don't break the bank while you're doing it. Think about how you currently spend your Saturdays. For most of you, it's probably your most expensive day of the week. Perhaps it's going to the game, going to see a movie, or going out for dinner and drinks with friends. Well, once you retire, every day is a Saturday, so costs can add up quickly. I'm not saying don't have fun. At the end of the day, this is your hard-earned money and you can't take it with you, but just make sure you keep an eye on it. It is also generally good practice to factor in increased expenses into your retirement plan for the early years of retirement while you're fit and healthy and have a whole host of newfound free time. More often than not, retirement is portrayed as a time of endless leisure and carefree living, but the truth is, it's not always the case. Retirement is more than just numbers on a spreadsheet, and quite often, it can be more mentally challenging than it is financially. It's about finding a balance between financial security, meaningful activities, and maintaining healthy relationships so you can lead a life of intention and purpose. If this video has been helpful for you, please like the video so that others can see it. If you have any questions about your own retirement, please feel free to reach out anytime or drop a comment below. I wish you the best of luck in your own retirement journey, and if you've subscribed to the channel, I'll see you next time. Until then, don't forget that a good financial plan understands your goals, but a great one knows the motivations behind them.